What's up guys, so there's this big fat that all you have to do to get big is the compound movements. No need to do excessive work, you just gotta squat, bench press, deadlift, overhead press, and do weighted dips. You take care of those things, you're gonna be jacked out of your damn mind, at least this is what the claims are. Now, I don't know where these ideas come from, because you know what, a couple years ago, before the YouTube fitness was so popular, everybody did the excessive work, everyone did the isolation movements, they understood that if you had weaknesses, you had to fucking train those weaknesses directly. And I really don't understand where this idea comes from that all you gotta do is the compounds. Because not everybody's built the same, number one. So the anthropometry, joint angles, things like that's gonna be different. And depending on someone's uh, genetics and insertion points, that's also gonna affect on how much you need to train their muscle groups directly. So take the example of the forms, right? Everybody says you just gotta get strong at rows, pull-ups, and deadlifts, and your form's gonna be jacked. Well, I'd say this is false because that's only encompassing one part of grip strength. Grip strength is not just holding on to a one inch diameter barbell. It's also about open hand strength. How long can you hold a barbell that is having your hands be like this? How much can you crush? Crushing strength, what about bending strength, tearing strength? These are all aspects of grip strength that are seldom addressed in a strength training program. And to me, this is absolutely insane. What about the wrist strength itself, direct wrist curls? Why do people neglect these things? Why would you just limit yourself to getting really, really strong on the combat movements. You're just gonna either slow down your progress tremendously or not make gains at all. The only way that I see it working is if you have very good genetics. If you have good genetics and you get strong, you're gonna have very large muscles in that given region. For example, if I just do fucking deadlifts, for example, just deadlifts, my quads are gonna grow. I could do anything for my legs. I could do fucking leg extensions, they're gonna grow. I can fucking walk upstairs with weights and my legs are going to grow. So I don't have to isolate them. I don't have to treat them that hard. But for other people, that might not be enough. They might require high rep leg extensions, right? Or not high rep leg extensions, but high rep leg presses, hack squats, you know, uh, front squats, high bar squats, box squats. They might need a multitude of exercises. And that's going to vary upon person to person. And these things must be addressed to just generalize the idea that you can get away with doing a few compound movements and you're going to be huge is an understatement. It's not valid when you consider these other factors, when you consider anthropometry, genetics, and muscle belly fullness and, and uh, insertion points, right? Uh, what about the neck? Same thing. Everyone says you just do shrugs and deadlifts and neck's going to grow. Sorry, not everybody is going to do that. Some, uh, like, if you look at people like Johnny Candido, for example, great guy, totally respect him, but he doesn't have the thickest neck around. You know, he has some pretty good traps for the most part, uh, good back and stuff, but his neck is not the thickest. A guy like him, he would need to do direct neck work, neck curls, neck extensions, neck lateral bending. Why are people avoiding this? Why do people like to use one single example? They're going to say, oh, well, Pete Rubush only does fucking uh, deadlifts and his neck is huge. Why is it this type of thinking? As a drug free lifter, I fucking said it. I'm going to say it again. You're going to be limited by your genetics and overall build. So you need to address these things. Same thing for the triceps. Everyone says, do close grip benches and weighted dips, you're gonna have jack triceps. I'm sorry, I followed that advice for many years. It did not work for me. And granted, I had very strong triceps. You've seen the lifts that I pulled out. My triceps were amazingly strong, but they were not big because I never fucking isolated them. I never did extensions, I never did push downs. All I was doing was benching. It's only when I realized that I had a problem, I started isolating the muscle group, it blew up. Now, of course, this doesn't apply to every muscle group in your body. I've already mentioned that everyone's a bit different. Some muscles will grow faster than others. Like for instance, my back and my legs, I don't have to isolate them. I don't really have to train them hard to be quite honest with you. But other muscle groups like my neck, you fucking bet I had to isolate it directly. Forearms, I didn't really have to isolate, but they grew pretty well from that. Uh, shoulders, I isolated them as well. Triceps, I definitely, definitely had to isolate them without a doubt because I really shit genetics for it. But you know, I did have to do isolation exercises. And if you're in this game for the long term and you're looking to develop your body in a maximal type fashion, you wanna be jacked out of your fucking mind without having apparent muscle weaknesses, you need to isolate the muscle group. Stop thinking about just doing the compound movements. I'm telling you this is a fact. It will not work the more advanced you get. You will get a plateau that is tremendous. It's gonna make you fucking devastated and it's gonna show aesthetically and strength-wise in your physique. You're gonna have lim uh, lagging muscle groups that are gonna prevent you from lifting as much weight as you could be. And when you look, when you're, when you're wearing a shirt or you're shirtless, you're gonna see these muscle groups, they're very, very apparent. You can't hide it. So fucking isolate that shit. Whether it's the forearms, the neck, the, the fucking calves, the quads, whatever it is. I don't know what your weaknesses are. You need to assess that for yourself. But if you have lagging muscle groups and they're not growing, even though you're getting strong on the compound movements, isolate them and shut the fuck up. That's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below.